The determinant method is a procedure of simplifying a differential equation using a matrix, which makes solutions shorter than using the method of elimination. Learn about it here in Engineering Math 5. The determinant method is a simpler way of finding the differential equation of a solution. The process would still start with the fundamental step of deriving the solution into the number of constants present. After learning about the functions, rearrange the terms to equate each into zero, and then plug each term in a matrix. Then figure out the determinant to have the differential equation. Let's attempt to solve the same example previously given using the determinant method. Again, two constants would require the second derivative of y, so from the original equation, we can take y prime as negative c1 times e raised to negative x plus 2 times c2 times e raised to 2x, and then derive it again to have y double prime, which is equal to c1 times e raised to negative x plus 4c2 times e raised to 2x. From this level of derivation, both c1 and c2 are still present, and to use the method, we are to convert the three equations to be equated to zero. From the three equations, we form a matrix using the terms as elements. And don't forget that this matrix is equated to zero. Now, note that from each column, we can extract a common term like from the first column, we are able to extract negative 1. C1 times E raised to negative X is also present in all elements in column 2, so extract it out from the matrix. And the third column has C2 times E raised to 2X as a common term, so it is extracted as well. Thus, we can simplify the function as negative 1 times c1 times e raised to negative x times c2 times e raised to 2x multiplied by the matrix is equal to 0. Next, all the common values out of the matrix are then transposed to the other side. And since the right side is just 0, we are left with simply the matrix equal to 0. At this point, we can take the matrix's determinant. Let's use Sauer's method, so compute for the positives or the downward trend of the elements, which would turn out as y times negative 1 times 4 plus 1 times 2 times y double prime plus 1 times 1 times y prime. Then compute the opposite trend, which is taken as the negatives, and that would be y double prime times 1 times negative 1 plus y times 1 times 2 plus 1 times y prime times 4. This would all be equated to 0. So simplify the terms to have negative 4y plus 2y double prime plus y prime plus y double prime minus 2y minus 4y prime is equal to 0. And collecting similar terms, we would have negative 6y minus 3y prime plus 3y double prime is equal to 0. Divide everything by negative 3, so we have the simplified differential equation 2y plus y prime minus y double prime is equal to 0. Try this example. Determine the differential equation of y is equal to c1 x squared plus c2 times x times e raised to x by eliminating the arbitrary constants through determinant method. Again, the presence of c1 and c2 connotes that we should derive the function twice. And also, take note that the required product rule for the second term. So take y prime as solved in the previous video, which would turn out as 
y prime is equal to 2 times c1x plus c2x times e raised to x plus c2 times e raised to x. Then derive further to have the second derivative of y, which would be y double prime is equal to 2 times c1 plus c2x times e raised to x plus 2c2 times e raised to x. And in here, the constants c1 and c2 are still around. So arrange the functions to have them equated by 0. From the arranged equations, let's attempt to draw a matrix. At this point, it is observed that since the second and the third equations have four terms each, the matrix size generated is 3 by 4. And recall that the determinants can only be processed with square matrices. So how should we proceed? Look deeper on the third and fourth columns of the matrix. C2 is common in the two so we can combine them and the matrix will turn out to be as shown. Now that we are able to follow the condition for determinants, we can proceed to extracting common terms. The first column has negative 1 common, so extract it out. The second column has C1 common, and the third column has C2 times e raised to x as common, so extract it out as well. Now, the simplified matrix will be as shown and transpose the common values to the other side, which can then just be taken as zero. So from the simplified matrix, solve for the determinant by Sauer's method. Take the positives, which would be y times 2x times x plus 2, plus x squared times x plus 1 times y double prime, plus x times 2 times y prime. And then the negatives, which would be y double prime times 2x times x, x squared times y prime times x plus 2, and y times 2 times x plus 1. And simplify the terms to have the long equation, which is actually the expanded differential equation for the solution. You can combine common terms to simplify the solution from here. Thank mm -hmm. you.